Before we get into the video of the zoning meeting, I want to address the residents of Uptown. I recently attended a coffee and tea event at Uptown Bikes. A representative from ONE Northside, a community activist group, revealed a shocking statistic. 1,800 units of affordable housing has been lost in Uptown. Let me say that again. 1,800 units of affordable housing has been lost in Uptown in the last two years. Wow. Some of those displaced or homeless, as at least one of those persons has died. You have to internalize the severity of the circumstances in Uptown. If you live in affordable housing, living paycheck to paycheck, working poor, even a mother with one child making forty to $50,000 a year, in four more years, there's a strong possibility you will no longer live in Uptown, and your current alderman is in support of that. He may tell you different, but his actions reflect the truth. 1,800 units of affordable housing lost. Remember that number. Now, this ain't a race issue, but a class issue, a civil rights issue of equality, Social freedom to live in a community without the threat of gentrification. Now, if you don't know what that word means, gentrification, look that word up. It's when a community move towards the upper class, the more wealthier class of the community. They restructure around. We cannot continue to sit on the sideline. Uptown needs a movement. Young, old, black, white, Latino, Asian, all nationalities of this diverse community. We need to mobilize to save our community. A family that has been living in Uptown for the last 20 years has the right to remain in Uptown, as well as the new condo owners. Uptown must learn to grow together. Let me say that again. Uptown must learn to grow together. No more sitting around waiting for the developers to knock on your door like they knocked on the doors of Astor House. Uptown, we must mobilize. Register to vote. Attend community meetings. Decisions are being made without your input but they will affect your family. So a number will appear on the screen. Email addresses will appear on the screen. Get in touch with the movement to save Uptown. This is important. You can no longer sit on the sideline because before you know it, you will be directly affected. Get in tune with the movement. Oh wow! Yeah, it was going the wrong way. You don't have to push it. Oh, we don't have to push it. Yeah, no. Do they sound frantic? I was. <laughs> Thank you. 
underneath that property that's on the northeast side. It belonged to the water district. The water district was going to give it to the park district. The park district was going to allow an underground parking garage to be placed there. The value of that was going to then go for the park. Now it's changed. Now that, that property is given straight to the park district, so there's no value there with an underground parking facility that would have paid for the uh, upgrade and the rehab of the Clarendon Park field house. It got to be very complicated. That's, that's what changed and to our we still need the money. They were only giving Magnolia Malden Black Club? Yes. Truman Square Neighbors? Yes. Lakeside Neighbors Black Club? No. Argo One More Black Club? Yes. 700 West Bittersweet? Yes. 828 West Grace? Yes. Mark Zipper? Yes. Marty Tangora? Yes. Chester Krapodlowski? Yes. Uh, Luke? <laughs> Yes. I'm going to get your last name right one of these. Think of sweet and sour. Sour. <laughs> um, 4848 North Sheridan? Aye. Okay. And 3660 North Sheridan? Yes. 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 And 3600. 3600. Aye. Did we miss anybody? Did we roll call those people were still coming? <coughs> Okay. Twenty-six yeses. 
And two no's. The motion passes. I made. Yeah. Nay. 